Now, Foggy is a friendly ghost living in the attic of an old house. Every night, he goes for a refreshing walk around the house for four hours. Foggy doesn't like one month of the year, because that month, he gets to walk around way less than the previous months. What's the month and why? It's February. There are just 28 days and nights in February, and 29 on the luckiest years. So, fewer nights and less time for Foggy to walk around. Just a month ago, Autumn and her family moved into a new house. Everyone loved it, but Autumn was sure that the house was haunted. She doesn't know it yet, but our old friend Foggy is the ghost that lives in her attic. He is a friendly ghost, so once he left her a message written on a mirror. Autumn woke up and saw this. Can you help her read the message? It's a code. Autumn should ignore the numbers and only look at the letters. The note says, Do not be afraid. I am Foggy. And who are you? Right before Halloween, when everyone was dressed up and carefree, all the creatures flooded a little town trying to blend in. Detective Callum was on duty to identify all the imposters and keep an eye on them. He has a couple of leads, and your task is to help him find all the monsters. Deal? The first one we need to find is a vampire. The vampire lives in one of these two houses. Can you tell which one? Look, there is garlic hanging in this house. Vampires can't stand garlic, they prefer cilantro, so it cannot be a vampire's house. So, the vampire lives in this one. Perfect, let's move on. One of these houses belongs to a centaur. Do you have any idea which one? Hmm, it must be this one. Pay closer attention to the path to the house. There are footprints of horse hooves. Centaurs have an upper body of a human, but a lower body of a horse, which explains the prints. The centaurs must be living here. The next one we need to track is a mummy. Take a closer look at these two apartments. Where does the mummy reside? Now, did you notice the bandages all over the room here? It must belong to the mummy, so I bet that's his place. Now it's time to track the Cyclops. Keep your eye out and make your best guess. Did you notice this strange object in this room? It looks like a pair of glasses, but it only has one lens. Well, that's because it belongs to a Cyclops. They only have one eye. So that must be his place. Okay, we only have one last creature to identify, a gnome. Here are two apartments. Which one does the gnome live in? Did you notice that the mirror in this apartment hangs a bit too low? That's because gnomes are short. He must be living here. Other creatures that have flooded the town are robots. For Halloween, some people started to dress up like them, too. Look at these three people. Can you find the fake robot? Look at their footprints. The robot on the left has human footprints in the beginning that only later change into tire patterns. He must be the fake robot. Let's train your eyes a bit. Here are Halloween emojis. All of them but one has a pair. Can you find the one that doesn't have a pair?
Great job! Here it is! Okay, one more time. Now there are even more emojis. Do you see the unique one? Here it is! Good! Now let's proceed. A month before Halloween, Daphne moved into a new modern house that was built in the early 2000s. It was a great house, but Daphne got it for a very low price because it was believed to be haunted. The girl didn't believe in that, so it didn't bother her one bit. On Halloween night, she returned home after midnight. When she walked into her room, she saw a ghost floating there. The ghost looked at Daphne and said, You know what? You can't live here. It's my house. I've lived here for a hundred years, and you're making me uncomfortable. (laughs) Daphne said that the ghost was lying. Why? The house was built in the early 2000s, so it's barely 20 years old. The ghost couldn't have lived there for a hundred years. That's right, ghosts lie. It is Halloween night, full moon, all the creepy things, but Eslin went to an abandoned spooky house in the woods alone. As soon as she walked in, the door behind her got shut and locked. She wandered around the house and found three doors leading out, but they didn't seem safe. Behind the first door, there was a werewolf. Behind the second door, there was a zombie. Behind the third door, there was a ghost. Which way is safer for her to choose? Eslin should definitely choose the third door. Ghosts may be spooky, but they can't do her any real harm. Of course, Eslin wasn't the only one who went to the house that night. Another student, Colton, dressed in the silver armor of a knight, decided to explore the spooky house too. Just like with Aslan, the door got shut behind him right after he stepped into the house. He found three ways out too. Behind the first door, there was a vampire. Behind the second door, there was a huge dragon who hates strangers. Behind the third door, there was a huge cyclops that would crash anyone who walks in. Which way should Colton choose to stay safe? Luckily for him, he is dressed as a knight in silver armor. Vampires are afraid of silver, so the first way is totally safe for Colton. On Halloween night, Kennedy wanted to spend the evening with her boyfriend, but her dad was against her dating anyone. To go around it, she lied that she was going to trick-or-treat with her friends and promised to be home by midnight. She returned at 11.30 p.m. Yet her dad got mad at her and demanded to tell him where she really was. Wow, how did he understand that Kennedy didn't go trick-or-treating? She returned with an empty candy basket. Outside of town, hidden in the woods, there is a house where a group of friends live. A mummy, a mermaid, a ghost, a werewolf, and a witch. Every Halloween, they eat candy. There are five creatures, but this year they only have four chocolate bars, and they don't know how to split them equally. Maybe you have an idea? They should split each one of the four bars into five pieces, and then each creature gets a piece from each bar. This way, everyone will eat exactly four pieces of chocolate. Now that monsters and humans live next to each other, let's try to identify who is who. I will be showing you photos, and your task is to find a monster in each photo. Here's the first one. Can you find the monster? Look, this guy's skin is green. He's definitely not a human. Here is the next photo for you. Be attentive. Do you see someone who is not a human here?
This girl in the swimming pool is a mermaid. <laughs> Good job! Okay, here's one more. It's quite hard, but I believe in you. Who do you think is not a human here? Look, this woman doesn't cast a shadow. Now this is not normal for a human being, so she must be some other creature. Great job! Here's another one for you. Which one do you bet isn't a human? This person is carrying a wand. She must be a witch. This is probably the hardest one. You have to keep your eyes wide open. A photo of a local cafe. Do you see something suspicious? Look, there's a glass of blood in the air, as if someone's drinking it. It must be the vampire who's drinking it. But the vampire isn't in the photo because they can't be photographed. Ugh, technicalities. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.